All right, in this next segment, we're going to continue the ideas of titrations, but we're gonna do, do it the other way around. So looking at the learning objectives this time, what we're gonna do now is we are going to be looking at uh, drawing a titration curve for a weak base st strong acid titration. So we start with a weak base and we add a strong acid and then you know labeling the key points as well and being able to calculate the pH at key points along the weak base strong acid titration curve. This is gonna be a lot like uh, the problem we just looked at where we're, we titrated a strong uh, base into a weak acid. Okay, so strong acid titrated into weak base. We calculate the pH before the addition of the acid, just reviewing what we did last time. Uh, and then we use weak base techniques uh, at, the, uh, at the beginning. Uh, then we can use henderson hasselbalch before and after the half equivalence point, whenever we've got a moderate amount of the base and the conjugate acid around. Uh, at the equivalence point, well, we have an acidic salt solution whose pH we can calculate. And after the equivalence point, the pH is based on excess H plus concentration. Uh, we don't get any additional H plus from the acidic salt reacting with the water. All right. Uh, yeah, like I said, very little of this back reaction uh, to uh, just the, ba the base to create um, uh, the, the conjugate acid to the base creating extra excess H plus. Okay, so this time, let's say we have 60 mils of a solution of ammonia with unknown concentration and it's titrated to equivalence with 30 milliliters of 0.1 molar HCl. Um, so the first thing we have to do, of course, is figure out how much ammonia there is, right? Because it doesn't say we have to figure that out. Uh, but the good thing is, hey, it's a titration. We know what the equivalence point is. So we need to first figure out how much acid there is uh, how much acid? There is uh, 0.03 liters times uh, 0.1 moles per liter. That gives 0.003 moles HCl. Great, so that's the same as the amount of ammonia. There's 0.003 moles of ammonia. Uh, what's the concentration? Well, it's in 60 milliliters, so divide by 0 0.6 liters, and that gives us 0 0.05 molar NH3. All right, so we've got the concentration now. So we've got the concentration of the ammonia, and now we'll be able to figure out the pH before the titration begins, after 10 mils of uh, HCl is added, at the equivalence point, and after 40 mils of HCl is added. All right, before the titration begins, uh, here, what you should do is try to figure this out yourself. So I've got some options there to make sure uh, you know you're on the right track. So um, I would pause and see if you can work this problem out. All right, we're back, but the what is the reaction going to be? And it's NH3 plus H2O reacts to make NH4 uh, plus plus OH minus. And so we've got the KB, great. 1.8 times 10 to the minus five is equal to NH4 plus times OH minus, all divided by concentration of NH3. And so uh, we just need an ice table. Initial uh, concentration is cha and change. Uh, Initial, sorry, initial change and equilibrium. So initial 0 0.05, we worked that out. This is zero, this is zero, minus x, 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 0 0.05, minus x, 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 plug it in to this, we get uh, x, x, divided by 0 0.05 minus x, 1.8 times 10 to the minus five, and uh, <clears throat> we make the small assumption and we get that x squared equals 1.8 times 10 to the minus 5 times 0 0.05. Uh, that gives us, when we multiply them together, take the square root, take the positive one, 9.49 times 10 to the minus 4. That's our concentration of OH minus. Uh, let's check how much is it? 9.49 times 10 to the minus 4 divided by 0 0.05. It ends up being 1.8%. So yeah, uh, up to significant digits, this is a good approximation. So we'll go with that. So the pH equals 14 minus pOH. So this will end up being 14 minus 3.02 
uh, equals 10.98. All right, so it's a weak base. We've got the concentration and now it's going to start being titrated with the acid. All right, so the next problem after 10 mils of acid added. Now you should know that this is just gonna be like a Henderson-Hasselbalch equation, right? The pH, uh, pH equals pKa plus log 10 of the concentration of base over the concentration of acid. And so remember, this is the Ka of uh, NH4 plus. So we need to figure out the Ka. The Ka will be 10 to the minus 14 divided by 1.8 times 10 to the minus 5 gives us 5.56 times 10 to the minus 10. Uh, how much base was there? Uh, we remember going back to the previous pages at 0.03 mole NH3. So how much acid are we adding when we add 10 mils of acid? So we're adding 0.01 liters times 0.1 moles per liter. And that gives us 0.001 moles of HCl. So we subtract that from our 0.003 mole NH3 and we get 0.002 moles of NH3. And we've created 0.001 moles of NH4 plus. So we can plug into Henderson Hasselbalch, pH equals the pKa. We just take minus 10 log of that. Uh, pH equals 9.26 is the pKa uh, plus the log of 10. Base, concentration of base is 0.002. Acid, 0.001. Those are the total moles, but again, it's in the same volume. So the ratio of concentrations is the same as the ratio of total amounts. We get 9.26 plus 0 0.30 plus 9.56. So it's a little bit more basic than exactly the, um, uh, the pKa, which makes sense because we are, uh, uh, we, we we're not gonna reach the, P, uh, the pH is not gonna reach the pK until we've added just enough um, to, for anything to be balanced out. That would be uh, 0 0.0015 uh, moles of acid. So after we add 15 mils of acid, then we'll be at exactly equal amounts of NH3 and NH4 plus, and the pH would be equal to the pKa. That would be the half equivalence point, right? Half of 30 mils is 15. So 15 is the half equivalence point. That is the point at which the pH is going to be equal to the pKa. All right, so <clears throat> that's step. Uh, the second step, two down, two to go. And now we're at the equivalence point. So what we essentially have is we started out with um, 0 0.003 moles NH3, but we added 0 0.003 moles of HCl. So what it means is in, we've entirely converted the ammonia into 0 .0, 0 0.003 moles of NH4 plus. All right, great. So we've got our uh, ammonia salt, and now it's an ammonia salt, and it's going to undergo a reaction, right? It's going to have a reaction. Uh, NH4 plus goes to NH3 plus, uh, um, plus H2O, uh, NH3 plus... Uh, um, uh, plus H3O plus. That's a reaction. The Ka is the concentration of NH3 times the concentration of H plus all over the concentration of NH4 plus, which is the acid. So before we solve for the pH, we need to figure out the concentration of ammonium there is. Well, we started out with uh, 0 0.003 moles of NH4 plus we're dividing by 0 0.09 liters, right? We have 30 milliliters plus 60 milliliters, and that gives us a concentration of NH4 plus of 0 0.0333 molar. Okay, so let's draw an ice table now. Also, we've got NH4 plus. We've got NH3, we've got OH minus, sorry, not OH minus, we've got H plus, we're dealing with an acid disassociation here. And so this would be 0 0.0333. This is going to be 
uh, minus x, some of that is going to disassociate. This is 0 0.0333 minus x, uh, 0 plus x, x, 0 plus x, x. And so uh, let's put our whole space here. It was too long a table, only 30 things. Uh, we would get, plugging everything in, 5.56, right? We already worked out the, the Ka on the previous page, 10 to the minus 10 is equal to x squared of 0 0.0333 minus x. If we make the small x approximation, that leads to an x equals 4.31 times 10 to the minus 6, and that's the concentration of H plus, uh, which is just going to lead to a pH of 5.37. Uh, as we'd expect, it's a weak base titrated with a strong acid. So we're going to have a pH that is somewhat acidic. All right, so we only have one more uh, situation to consider. So now let's look at uh, after, the uh, after the equivalence point. So now we have 40 mils of HCl added. But remember now, uh, we, we can just ignore anything that the ammonium is doing. The only thing that's going to matter into the pH is how much excess H plus there is. Well, how much excess H plus is there? We had uh, 0 0.04 liters times 0 0.01. That gives us 0 0.001 um, mole of H plus, uh, sorry, 0.4 moles of H plus, And we have 0 0.003 moles of base. So subtracting that out, we have excess H plus. Uh, and so what's the concentration? Well, we added 60 and 40 together. So the concentration of H plus is just going to be 0 0.001 mole of H plus divided by 0 0.1 liter, which is 0 0.01 molar. And we can just write down that that's pH 2.0. Okay, so that's, uh, that's the option there. All right. So we have gone through and figured out all the different possible uh, pHs along there. I mean, we haven't figured out every single one, but we've gone through the technique you'd need to calculate the pHs all the way through. Uh, before uh, you've added any acid, it's a weak base problem. When you're in that intermediate range, it's a Henderson-Hasselbach uh, problem. When you've reached the equivalence point, it's a weak solved problem. And then uh, past the equivalence point, it's just a matter of uh, how much excess acid there is and calculating the concentration there. All right, so that's the end of this segment.